Avengers assemble! Wait a second. You're not Hawkeye. Yo, I'm your worst nightmare. Uh, I love the 80s. Strikes back, bitch. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Rambo First Blood Part 2 Hot Toys John J. Rambo wants to sell collectible movie figure. So here's the packaging of the figure. It says Rambo First Blood Part 2 John J. Rambo with a very cool picture of Rambo right there. Very reflective packaging, how Hot Toys used to always have their packaging. Movie masterpiece, a Hot Toys. One side of the box sleeve says Rambo First Blood Part 2 with a nice picture of Rambo from the sign that says John J. Rambo. The other side shows Rambo with his uh, a uh, bow, like ready to kill someone, like he always does. Top and bottom of the box says Rambo First Blood Part 2, John J. Rambo. The back of the box sleeve shows the figure in three different uh, poses, uh, side, front, and back, as well as uh, all the different features it has, like the bow and his AK-47 and arrows and his uh, knife. Warning, don't choke on Rambo's knife, he'll catch ya. Once you take off the box sleeve, you can see a cool picture of the figure holding the AK-47 John J. Rambo. And you can actually open this part up. The inside uh, cover shows uh, Rambo about to fire an arrow. Has a little bow about him being the unit baker team specialist. Feel free to pause and read it. There you can see the figure in its window box looking badass like Sloan always did, especially in the 80s. The back of the box not only shows the Rambo figure, but also shows other figures like the Colonel Samuel Rodman. Um, who I hope to get one day and also shows all the accessories it comes with which is quite a bit It will be my worst nightmare if I don't open this figure now and Here we got Rambo looking badass for an older figure. This is still an amazing figure I have to say let's take a closer look for this figure coming out around 2006 This was an exceptional head sculpt and figure now to, the, to today's standards It may be lacking a little bit but still, like the uh, the head sculpt is really good. Like like the stubble, his scar, um, his eyes, the his hair, and he even has his trademark red uh, headband. And he's got his good look necklace, which is very nice. The body is made of this rubberized body, which uh, Hot Toys has since used like different material for like the Barney Ross figure, which I'll review. But uh, it has all the veins and. For a while, when they had shirtless figures, they would do that. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, for 2006, the detail um, is just exceptional. I mean, even to today's standards, this is still a really great-looking figure in his pants. He has this sheath right there for his big old survival knife. Um, big old shiny boots with real laces. Very awesome. Stallone there. I mean, like I said, the likeness to Sylvester Stallone is really spot on, like I said, especially for 2006. Articulation, this figure is a little bit limited because of the body, but it's still pretty articulated. His head can fully rotate uh, and go up and down a little bit. Now the arms can't fully rotate, but they can go up about that high, um, and uh, they can go back a little bit. They go in and out uh, that much. Um, he does bend at the elbow. And he can also rotate at the elbow a little bit. Uh, he does have full wrist articulation and can go in and out. No waist or ab crunch, not really, because of the rubber body, but leg articulation. Uh, legs can go forward and back, in and out, rotate the upper part of the leg, bend the two points at the knee, and his ankles can fully rotate as well as pivot forward and back, and a little bit of ankle pivot side to side. So still a pretty good articulation. Rambo comes with tons of accessories. He comes with a little instruction manual on how to uh, shows his articulation what you do and can't do. He comes with an extra uh, left hand that has bendy fingers. Hot Toys doesn't do this anymore, um, but it's cool that you have an extra hand if you choose to. He comes with a bunch of little accessories like a knife sharpener he used for his uh, arrows and knife, of course. Comes with some mini knives that he threw at, at some bad guys, and um, I believe this was a detonator, and he had a, his wrist uh, communicator or armband. He comes with his survival knife, one of his, the trademark knives that he uses in the movie. I love this knife, one of my favorite knives of all time. He comes with an AK-47 that he used in the movie. Uh, this has some really nice detail with the wood um, uh, look right there and it also has a removable clip with um, bullets. Hot Toy is always known for their detail even back 
in the day. It has a strap right here. Rambo comes with this quiver that has working zippers and uh, little pockets that he wore in the movie. It has a can open up and it includes four different arrows. See the detail on the arrowheads. You know, has little uh, bombs attached to them. And just very nice. I really like the, uh, the detail. Rambo also comes with his badass bow. I love it. This thing is freaking cool and has real a uh, string that is bendable. It's so cool. I really like this bow. It's so awesome. And he's the baddest archer around. Sorry, Hawkeye. And Rambo comes with the traditional Hot Toys stance. This is Rambo First Blood Part 2, John J. Rambo. The Kratos is a little different from the how Hot Toys has it. It has the one that goes around the waist, but it is adjustable. Why they pick you? Because you like to fight? I'm expendable. No, I'm expendable. Holy I got old, but at least I look better than Schwarzenegger. Hey, you know how hard it is for me to put the cookie down! Size comparison time. So here you can see the Rambo figure is actually a, a pretty tall for um, a standard Hot Toys figure. It is taller than the Hot Toys Barney Ross. And you can see the differences, how Hot Toys has come a long way from uh, 2006 to, uh, to now. You can see uh, he is a good uh, size with the T-800 from Terminator 2. And you can see how much bigger it is than the NECA uh, um, Rocky figure. Now for a figure that came back in 2006, Hot Toys did an exceptional job on this figure. I love all the accessories, comes with the detail and articulation is really good for the time. Um, now if you want, uh, I know that Hot Toys is supposed to come out with a DX Rambo hopefully in the next year or so. So if you can wait for that then it'll probably have a better you know, head sculpt and detail and better articulation because the body won't be all rubberized. Um, but if you were lucky to have this figure and or get this figure, he runs about 300 or more now on eBay with all the accessories and box. Um, yeah, but like like I said, if you want the, the best Rambo, I think the Part 2 Rambo is the best because like I said, um, Inner Bay came out with a 1 4th scale Rambo that looks amazing, but that's from Rambo 3 and it has a better head sculpt and everything, but it's, you know, 400 something bucks and, you know, like I said, it's 1 4th scale. If you want a great 1 6th scale Rambo, you can't go wrong with this one. Uh, Rambo Part 2 is... Uh, First Blood Part 2 is one of my favorites and um, like I said this is probably one of my favorite Sloan figures I own. Hopefully Hot Toys comes out with a better one down the line but like I said if you're lucky to find this figure or have this you'll, you will you won't regret it. I, I love it. For more Geek News reviews more check out BKBN.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Your Gnome in a big way. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Excuse me, he was saying he gets them at alteregocomics.com. <laughs> For the latest in hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas, and more, visit alteregocomics.com. They take PayPal, pre ordered, and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys? You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! I tell you to go! Go down! What it is that you want? I want what they want! And every other guy who came over here, split his kids, gave everything he had once for our country to love us as much as we love it. And also for fans of the 80s, not to forget us guys who are in our 60s. That's what I want. What the f are you saying? I can't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. Understand this, excavator. Mission. Accomplish. I'll put your cookie down forever, mother.